Anisha Sheikh from Navsari, Gujarat. I'm a practicing dentist at a private clinic. Today I'll be talking about the signs that shows that your gum needs help and the few measures to be taken to get a good oral hygiene and a good oral health. Now whenever you're brushing your teeth and you feel that there is bleeding from your gums or if your gums appear reddish, swollen, inflamed or if there is bad breath that is halitosis then these are the alarming signs that shows that you need to visit a dentist. Now every dentist recommends few things that is brushing your teeth twice daily, flossing your teeth, using tongue scraper, mouth rinses etc etc. But today I'll be giving you the reasons why you need to follow these instructions. Normally the tooth is covered with a salivary pellicle and whenever you eat something a biofilm is formed. So this biofilm that gets converted into plaque, now it has bacteria in its product along with the food degrees. Now the saliva, it maintains an equilibrium. It has enzymes, minerals and immunoglobulins. Now the salivary defense mechanism comes into action if this plaque is removed and it will precipitate minerals to kill the bacteria. Now the plaque it gets calcified into calculus which is known as tartar in common language. Now even if at this stage you do not pay heed, this calculus will keep on increasing. It will loosen the attachment apparatus, your gums will recede and the, there will be bone loss and ultimately this will lead to the tooth mobility. So visit your dentist, get your calculus removed and it can be removed by hand or ultrasonic scaling. Now we come to the mouth rinses. Uh, there are different kinds of mouth rinses with different contents. So I'll recommend you that you should never use those mouth rinses haphazardly and only use the one which is recommended by your dentist. But because what happens is whenever you haphazardly use those mouth rinses, it might lead to discoloration of your teeth or gingiva. It might lead to sensitivity. It might lead to an enhanced taste sensation, your taste sensation might get altered, etc. Now coming to flossing, I've heard that patients, they tell me that they are not comfortable with the traditional floss. So here I have a solution for them. These are the uni floss. They come in very handy. You can use them. Now the another are the dental brushes. Here they are. They come with a cylindrical or a triangular head. And these interdental brushes from Dentec are very good because here this there is RSO standardization. The three types, the orange one, here it is for the tight spaces. The maroon one you can use when you feel that between two teeth or your fibrous foot is stuck and you cannot remove, then use this maroon one. And if you feel that there is a large space between your two teeth, then use this brown one, uh, blue one. So these are the flosses uh, and now these are the things and I hope it helps to, it helps and encourages you to hear and pay heed to it in these instructions that when they tell you uh, about brushing your teeth, flossing, using tongue scraper, mouth rinses, etc. And the another thing that I'm going to add over here is uh, the importance of proper diet. We all know that for the proper functioning of your body you need a balanced diet. In the same manner, you need a proper diet for your good oral health. Uh, you should incorporate green leafy vegetables, fruits, fibrous fruits and vegetables, milk and dairy products, fish, etc. for your good oral health because this will impart calcium to your teeth. It will counteract, counterbalance the abrasion caused by aggressive brushing or carbonated drinks, sweetened acidic drinks, etc. So avoid the carbonated sweetened acidic drinks and opt for a balanced diet. Thank you so much.